the best stage. Every year, dude. I look forward to this stairway. <laughs> You've never been so excited to see stairs? Dude, just look at this. Yeah, this is a really good backdrop. They I could tend kill to those guys at the bottom if I wanted to. But you know what? They're there for aesthetics. Stats. Tell you, dude, this game's very vaporwave. I have to look at what vaporwave is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, people have made it to the end of this video. They're like, man, he died. He fucking sucks. But, uh, so the crazy shit that just happened earlier that I wanted to bring up. <laughs> I told you I would remember. <laughs> but uh, Josh was playing a uh, uh, Harmony of Dissonance right next to us earlier. <laughs> sitting there frowning upon us playing a Castlevania game. Yeah. And then the funny thing is that, like, well, he, right before the cutscene, for the first time you're able to control the intro, <laughs> and fun fact, this is voiced by Ragnar's Blood Edge. Ever, yeah. the ally of and Dio in the new JoJo's dub. Lot. And he's also, I think, one of the commanders from the uh, Attack on Titan. Oh yeah, okay. Fuck, I might die now. Because <laughs> I was so distracted with having to tell the story. Go ahead, tell the story. So, right before the cutscene starts, Josh was able to whip, and then the, then the cutscene started before you, you should be allowed to even move. It's all good. That's that speed running tag. It means you can buffer inputs, so you can slide through shit. Yeah, you can move during the cutscenes. So Dracula is actually easy, I just fucked up because I wasn't yeah. paying attention. You can just whip, we'll hit him in the head once, duck, and then avoid the projectile. Don't be- it's, it's super easy. I like how in the first Castlevania game it's very counterintuitive how to fight Dracula. Yeah, you want to actually jump towards him, the thing you've been basically told not to do the whole game. Yeah, and it helps. Yeah, yeah you, you magically go over all the fireballs. Yeah, I'm doing terrible. But that's fine. I'll die. I got plenty of lives. I haven't continued yet. No, dude, just get through this. You gotta, you gotta hit him, what, what? Twice for each uh, health bar, or what? Uh, I think one for each. Yeah, one that. Don't be greedy. That's the trick. Yep, once. That's one for each hit. And I should get like, three hits off this one. There we go. And then he jumps twice. I was able to figure this out hella quick. And big jump. He jumps twice and then big jump. That's what he does. Yeah. That's a pretty cool design. Yeah, I like this Castlevania boss, this form of Dracula. He has three forms. Just come a long way from being a cookie monster. Yes. Gotta take the stairs, dude. So when you played this, how long ago was it when you played this the first time? Um, oh jeez, uh, maybe, maybe like a year or two after it came out. Hmm. I played it on my old Wii and I, I probably played it for like two days before I was able to beat it. <laughs> As ever, That's the such a good game. Of worthless it feels humans. great, whipping feels great, jumping feels good. Like, you commit, you kind of commit to your jump only when you go attack, you know? Yeah. Alright, here we go, you got this. Ooh, that was close. Yeah. Oh, thank Fire you, Fireball. Ballsy. I think that's what uh, classic uh, controls would happen too, actually. Oh fuck, I got hit twice, that's terrible. I know I only get hit once at max. And I was just doing this over and Don't over. Don't get hit! I can't do this, I'm talking at the same time. You got this quiet time. It's a serious time. Now let's go ahead and read some donations. I'd like to donate uh, $10 to Killing the Tito. Save the frames, kill the Tito. Oh god, killing Tito. Oh god, killing the Tito. He's pretty good doing it himself. Oh god, you got me at all. I'm so nervous. You got this, just don't uh, don't get hit anymore. I got this. Whoops. 
All right, then. dude. All right, then. That was weird. That was the first. Nice. This was wild when I saw this. This is great. I like this third form. Yeah. Like, it's a devilish, but you can see the vampire in it. Yeah. Uh, dropped on me. Wow, that was a. I think it was the first time I've heard that little death, death uh, howl. Uh, yeah, he doesn't really scream that much, I guess. He's tough. He's a tough Belmont. One of the toughest. He had to go through. He had to go through fucking a Game Boy, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, he's one of the stronger Belmonts. He had to deal with only having four colors. <laughs> was that even eight bit or is that four bit? <laughs> no. It was, a, it, was a, it was a single bite. <laughs> those God. games are small, dude. Yeah, they're very small. They are very small. <laughs> As ever. The All right, you're gonna have to commentate. This human. All right, commentate so on this. Tito's gonna try his best to only get hit four times. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just gotta judge that distance. Good job. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like a breeze, but man, there's not a lot of time in between those landing frames. Don't be afraid if you miss. It's not the end of the world. He hasn't hit you yet. Only you panic like if you get hit, right? Yes. <laughs> it's clockwork. Right? As long as you don't fuck up. Be frame perfect. Don't fuck up. Get good. AVP, always be perfect. Yes. <laughs> ah! Oh boy, here comes the end. Alright, here we go. No, fuck. Ooh. Someone wants to attention. Nah, his, like, he changes the angles on him. Yeah. Doing good, doing good. I'm surprised he doesn't have more Hanna-Barbera sound effects. It's practically what this... Maybe they... He's probably what he's grunting, isn't he? I'm sure that's some sort of, like, cougar effect. The stock, the public domain cougar effect they use for Panthers. <laughs> Lightning. Lightning. Glyphs. Oh, shit. Glyphs. They know. This is the fastest way to get him fucking to do this. We'll do it again. Fucking fireballs. Oh! Nice. Come on, this is it. This is it. Oh, no. Yes! Nice. And then you know what's the best thing about this one? The ending theme for when you get the last orb. Oh, is it Evanescent? Yes. Okay, cool. Dust settled. Christopher stood tall, 
the evil scheme of Count Dracula was thwarted by a single vampire hunter. Peace has been returned to Transylvania. You always see the castle. A new legend in the history of the Belmonts came to pass to be talked about for generations. But this was not to be the last. <laughs> Do you think all Belmonts are told they have to stand there after they, they tear down the castle? Maybe they tell about it like as they like after they uh do it's like dude, when you kill Dracula, there's always a spot on this cliff. <laughs> I guarantee you, dude, you'll yeah. like it. <laughs> In fact, if you happen, if you could be like you know one of your grandparents, like how they hooked up, they had a, they had a homie, you know they were like they're like hoes before bros, hoes and bros, you know. You think you think that uh because I think it would have to be Trevor who'd pass that down. He passes it down to the next in line, says, listen. Okay, I put an X over there. After you tear down the vampire's castle, trust me, stand there. It'll look cool. <laughs> It'll look cool, and not only that, if you happen to have a girl with you, she'll like it. Oh, yeah, dude. A <laughs> girl will eat that shit up. Just ask your grandma Sifa. <laughs> <laughs> grandma Sifa? <laughs> like, I could imagine on that cliff every time there's a, <laughs> there's a little X that says Belmont goes here. <laughs> Oh man, this great this game was amazing. Yeah, it was a good run. It's man, it's just a shame that we don't get any more Castlevania games. It's okay, that's why we keep playing them. We keep the history alive. What is it it says at the end of uh Belmont's Revenge? The legend will always continue. Yeah. Oh. Well everyone, thank you again for joining us on Castlevania. <laughs>